Oh, you want to play? <laughs> really, Hoss? Hey guys, Dusty Baker of Cross Turners Bison. Welcome back to the channel. It is a cold and icy. It's been like this for about four days here in Oklahoma. And uh, yeah, it's been, a, it's been a mess. Let's just say that. Even with a four wheel drive truck, it has been tough out here on these roads. It is, uh, it's just part of Oklahoma. We get a lot of ice more than we do snow and all that stuff. So um, hanging out with the Dakota Pure Calves. I've got some uh, feed. I need to unload. I've got, uh, these are our cattle cubes basically that uh, we uh, get for our, our big herds, our adult herds. Um, we use these 20% range and breeder cubes. Uh, the cattle cubes you see me feed to Dunbar and Big Joe and all them. So I got to take some of these actually to Dunbar and the original herd. Maya's... <laughs> Maya, no, no, Maya, Maya, no, leave him alone. He doesn't like you. <laughs> These two are always going at it. Always. Anyways. What I was saying was, is uh, I got to take some of these actually to the Dunbar herd. And I've got some more tubs. I got some Sweet Licks tubs, our protein tubs that I've been using. I, I, I put those out oh, about a month or so ago. Kind of when winter hits, the cold hits, we like to put out those protein tubs just to supplement them a little bit, just like what we do with these cubes. We give them about two or three times a week, basically, and we give them a whole bag to each herd. So it's a 50 pound bag. Um, it's just another little extra for them to uh, try to keep them healthy during the uh, cold times, which these animals are tough and they can handle the cold conditions. So, but uh, take a look at this tub. This is the one I've had out for the uh, calves here. The company is Sweet Blocks, I think. I don't have a, 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 a deal with them or anything, uh, but this one is called Sweet Licks, I guess. Anyways, uh, I just, I purchased these because uh, I think they're at a good price and they, the bison actually like them. So you can tell here, this is a hard molasses um, on there. And they it's basically, they kind of redid this as far as the molasses goes. They used to have it on top, um, caked on top, but they redid it and they uh, they put the, made a star of this molasses and make them eat around it basically. and. Um, what what they'll do is eat it all the way down and you'll see a little star left but they'll they'll eat this molasses as well too so it's a slow process but um, now we're also feeding these calves too so they're getting feed hay and they're getting uh, this mineral tub as well so uh, just because they're pinned up here but uh, they they love these tubs and and that's one of the reasons why uh, we uh, we got them so Always want to be together. No, Maya. No. It's good looking calves. They're going over there to get some water. I am going to um, get the pallet out um, with the skid steer and um, I'm going to get these unloaded real quick. It is cube day for the Big Joe herd, so I need to get some cubes to them and also I'm going to set them out a new block. So uh, you guys want to come along with me on that little journey? I'm going to get these unloaded and then we'll take them out to the uh, Big Joe herd.
I will say it is very difficult to go through a gate with a skid steer and, and some of you that have a skid steer may have a better technique than me and, and deal with bison or maybe cattle, but what are you doing? She's hyped up, but uh, it is cube day. So um, when you pull the skid steer through here, as you can see them crowding around me, luckily if, if you can catch them without them being up here in the front, uh, if you can kind of sneak around, which sometimes I have to be strategic about it, but they're having fun right now. But uh, when they hear a gate or see a gate, they want to go right through it. And so uh, that's the unfortunate part about when you go to feed and whatnot. But uh, I need to put this mineral block out right here, but I needed to get cubes out. So if, if you really do it right, you got to get out there, spread the cubes, get them away from the gate it, it can be pretty dangerous but to do that but as you can see kevin and i actually will walk out there and spread the cubes that's not the safest thing to do um, we spend time with our bison and and so they get used to us and whatnot and we feel comfortable doing that um it's still not uh the the best thing to do so if uh, if you guys see this and, and you think you can go out in a pasture and you haven't spent time with your bison or haven't been around bison before and you can go out and do this in the pasture guys you can't i just want to be up front with you about it and i don't say that enough you can go out and watch all the yellowstone videos and and the custer videos or all the the videos where bison have hurt people that's because most of those time most of the times those you're getting out in places like yellowstone where those bison they're used to people but most of the time the dangerous things happens in, in like uh during rut obviously those bulls are, are doing some work and they're trying to protect cows and and show their dominance and so that's when people can, can get hurt so um, you can't just walk out in a pasture and feed these animals especially if you're not used to them um, a lot of bison people do this and a lot of bison people don't do this um, that that raise bison and have done it for a long time uh, i do that occasionally but I, I try not to do it all the time you see me in my truck pouring it out the window that's the safest thing but i just want to i just want to clear that up i don't say that enough but guys you, you got to be careful around these animals and if you're a tourist that follow my channel and uh, you go visit a, a bison place or you go visit Yellowstone or Custer State Park or any other park that has these animals in it you uh, you got to be seriously you got to be careful and you got to pay attention you can't go up to them like I do that's because they see us almost every day and uh, they're just used to us and uh, they're not aggressive at all um, they are aggressive during uh, breeding season and the cows are also aggressive whenever they have uh, calves that's natural you just happen to be in their way uh, and you be you may happen to be a little bit too close to them uh, that's the only reason why bison try to hurt people um, it, it, most of the time it's because it, it's your fault and you're in the way and uh, I, I need to be smart about it. I need to be better and uh, I just want to pass that along to you guys to be very careful, be safe. And uh, I know a lot of bison producers out there would say the same thing to you as well. So, um, but it is difficult to come through with the skid steer in a gate because you've got to get out. You've got to climb out of that thing pretty quick and, and shut a gate. And, and I've got a cow out here, 32. She's done it to me before. She will skedaddle through the gate as fast as possible. She sees an opening and she will take off. But if you've got cubes, you can catch your attention pretty quick. They know that smell, they can smell the bag and you can see Big Joe coming up to me pretty close, too close actually. So let's go put this tub out.
Oh, you want to play? <laughs> really, Hoss? Mr. Dan Blocker. So the ice is starting to melt off here. I kind of want you guys' opinion. I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to put a gutter all the way along here. And I, we thought about um, with the downspouts, we could maybe catch some of this water and put it in a tank. Um, because uh, unfortunately what is happening is all this is sitting here. And this is a this is a main corral. And uh, this, is a, this is where the... Uh, Dakota pure calves have been hanging out. Of course, they can come in here and, and go back out into the big one. But uh, all this water gathers up right here. So we may have to put a gutter all the way along here with a downspout here. We could go down and go out like a French drain and let it run downhill because it actually kind of slopes downhill where the road is. Um, but we had to kind of make a makeshift uh, drainage yesterday as it started to melt yesterday evening and uh, you can kind of see the different color here of uh, the ice which is and this is all drainage and then it froze again last night right here as it runs downhill but it makes a muddy mess and and uh, they come in here and they trample in here and make it even worse but so we may have to put some gutters up here you guys let me know what you think should we just do a french drain or maybe a French drain down there, which basically a French drain to me is like something you'd put in your yard off of your house uh, where you're having trouble with water. As you come down, it goes down into the ground and we could run some PVC pipe um, out into the pasture and the water will drain downhill. That slopes right there. So that's something else we could do is, uh, is do the French drain or we could catch the water off of the roof with a gutter as well and put a tank maybe somewhere um, out of the way to catch the water uh, may be a good option for us too. But um, I know I showed you guys of Sam and I building this. We ordered the sheet metal, gonna have the concrete poured here very soon. We'll keep you updated with all this. And um, we've got some more ideas what we're gonna do with this and whatnot. So uh, it will have concrete, it will have concrete poured in it, and then we'll come back and put sheet metal over it as well. So but I've had trouble kind of matching this old U-panel. Um, and this it is U-panel. It's six inches apart right here. I've learned a lot about sheet metal here lately. But you cannot find the kind here with these two grooves. And I just don't think they make it anymore here in, in Oklahoma. I can't find a company that does it. You can barely find companies that have the U-panel um, right here. Uh, and that's a three-quarter inch rise or maybe an inch rise. Um, on the rib here, but I've definitely learned about sheet metal and matching the color because it has faded a little bit as well too. So we've got to match this. So, we, so we've got to be able to try to match this barn so we can put that sheet metal here. Well, um, now we've got to head to the other side of town. I'm uh, gonna take probably take Brooks and Marissa with me and we're going to head over to uh, the original place to mom and Kevin's to check on Dunbar and that herd and see how they're doing and um, we're going to give them a new uh, lick tub a new mineral tub and then we're, we're going to give them uh, probably a sack of cubes as well so got to get those guys taken care of let's head to the original place
Get back. All right, we made it out here. We've we uh, had some stuff to do today. Went to a livestock show here in our county. Reminds me of the good old FFA and 4-H days. Um, something new to you guys you may have not have seen before or have heard about, but well, hello. Look at here, we got a visitor. Is I used to show sheep. I know, sheep and bison don't go together. But uh, I got into a way cooler animal. Nothing at sheep, but um, these animals are pretty awesome so anyways uh got our hanging out with our beauty beauty queen here princess eleanor see the others are starting to figure out that uh, she gets special attention and uh, they are uh, quickly um responding you got flo over here too flo she's figured it out and uh here comes peaches peaches is she's always smart she gets it so um anyways they're all doing good getting bigger and bigger um some of them are looking pretty pregnant um eleanor we don't know you just never know about eleanor she's just something else but uh, anyway so wife helped me pour the cubes out today the back of the truck and uh so that's fun brooks is taking a nap so um uh, anyways uh got him a new block it will last maybe Three weeks is what they've been lasting, so we'll see how it goes. Um, but it's just good supplement for them um, during this time of the year, along with the cubes. Anyways, thank you guys for watching us, and hope you enjoyed the video. I'm doing little things, just little things like that. Cubes, uh, the mineral block, the mineral tub in the winter to try to keep them healthy, especially when it's cold. These animals are already tough and can handle this cold, but it's just uh, little things to help them here and there. Thank you guys for watching us. We'll see you next time.